In this lesson, we're going to talk about charts. Chris allows you to take your data once you have it and represent it graphically via a series of charts and options. In our case, we're going to continue to use Report 2. And in the Design view, go ahead and under Report Header, right-click and say Insert Section Below. This inserts a brand new section for us, and this time I need to resize it. So by putting my mouse exactly on that section line between page header and report header B, it turns to a up and down pointing arrow. By holding down my mouse button, I can drag it down to a height I see fit. From here, I'm going to take my mouse and click on the insert chart icon. Now it helps if you've already defined your groups and your report before you create a chart. You also have this option when you do the report wizard but it kind of helps to play around with the data first depending on how complicated your data set is. Once you have it perfect, then usually is the best time to insert a chart. Now ours may be far from perfect, but it won't stop us. Go ahead and click on the chart icon. What this will do is it will turn the mouse and give you a chart highlight box to place in your report. Take the top left hand corner and place it where you need to be. In this case, I'm going to place it on one of my snap to guidelines and click. The chart itself should adjust to the section that I put it in, although charts do require a certain height, if you will, before they allow themselves to be inserted into the report. From here, Crystal's decided to do the sum of the revenue amount by division. Again, that's a Crystal default. Right-click on the report and say Chart Expert. It also helps instead of saying Chart Expert, you click on it. From here, we get the Chart Expert window and here are all the charts available to us. In Crystal Reports 11, we have Histogram, Funnel, Agant, Gauge, Numeric Axis, Stock, Bubble, Radar, XY Scatter, 3D, etc., etc., as well as our Bar, Line, Area, Pie, and 3D charts. In this case, let's do a simple vertical side-by-side -side chart. You can also choose to make it horizontal, which is simply another way of looking at the data. We're going to leave it vertical. Then click on the data tab. Now here is where you get to choose what gets displayed. So on the change of division we see the sum of the revenue amount. The axis is where you kind of define which is the major, which is the minor, what data value range you get. You can either auto scale it or auto range it. It's up to you. You can also manually do it here. And the number of division is automatic. You also have some more options. You can choose it to be color, black and white. You can show the label and the data points, show the value. You can have a transparent background. You can have a marker size, a marker shape, a bar size. You can even show a legend and where it's placed. You can also color highlight based on conditions. You'd have to create these and play around with them. You can also choose which text is displayed, choosing the font of the title, subtitle, footnote, legend, so on. You can also change the title by unclicking it and saying revenue by division. You also put a subtitle, a footnote, a group title if you don't want the defaults. Go ahead and press OK. Now we see the option here but we still see the default chart. So let's go ahead and look at preview. And there you are, a simple bar chart by revenue amount for east and west divisions. Now that was a little too easy. These charts can get as complex as you need them to be, but as all graphical representations go, usually the simple the better. Let's go ahead and click on our chart, even in the Preview tab, do the Chart Expert, and this time let's change it up a little bit. Let's make it a line, and let's choose our data. If you click on the Advanced icon, you get to change the axes, i.e. the bars and the lines you see on the report. For example, an office name, I can show the revenue amount. And notice the sum of the revenue amount by office name. I can also pull in the revenue date. You can also remove them as you see fit. So in this case, I've decided to override Crystal's default and say, show me office name by revenue date and show me the revenue transaction amount. And it's the sum of the revenue transaction. You can also do the min, the max, the anything by highlighting it and set set summary operation. Remember, your numbers will give you far more options to work with. But let's leave it as is and press OK. Notice now we have the list of offices, but you don't really see a date, except for, of course, 2008. 
That, of course, was defined by our select expert. If we click on the select expert, we notice our revenue dates are only between January 1, 2008 and December 31, 2008. If we delete it and then press OK and refresh our data, our chart all of a sudden goes all over the place. Notice all the different colors in the guidelines on our right hand side of the screen. Those represent every single year for all these offices. You have to be careful when designing charts. It's almost an art form. If you put too much it doesn't make any sense and the message gets lost. Crystal allows you to put almost as many groups, sections, and areas as you see fit. But do so at your own peril.